from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. He then addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. O oh God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance and would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast and prayed, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified, not the former. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
hearts and sorrow and fall. Oh, you are my God. 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 My wife and I were in a fight. I knew I was right. I knew I was gonna win, and I was arguing. Da 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 da, and she was arguing. Na 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 na. I was saying na da 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 da, and she was saying na 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 na. And I just really felt really right. And as like after we were arguing for an R and then an R and F, and I was like slowly thinking, <gasps> she's right, she's right. But I was just so mad already. I was so long in the fight. I just wanted to, I didn't want to give up. I just kept on fighting and howling and she was like crying and like, Rah! and then we were just like, okay, okay, surrender, surrender. And, and then slowly I just said, all right. You're right, I'm wrong. And it's like really legit. I'm wrong, sorry, sorry. And sometimes, you know, like husbands, we think we're really right. And then like, when you really start talking, thinking about it, like, Actually, you're wrong. <laughs> I really didn't want to say sorry because I was already proud of and and angry and all of these things. But the moment you know, I swallowed my pride and and asked for forgiveness and humbled myself, our argument became beautiful and it was sweet. And then we had a heart to heart talk, and that's the power of humbling yourself. Especially when you find out that you're wrong. I want to read to you verse 14. It says, I tell you this sinner, not the Pharisee returned home justified before God. For those who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted. So beautiful. One of the most powerful verses in the Bible. That's how God's kingdom work, works. It's upside down. Who exalts himself will be brought down and who humbles himself will be exalted. You see, when, you know, when my, I humbled myself, my wife humbled herself, we surrendered ourselves to God's love and will. And, you know, our marriage became more beautiful and we won. Why? Because the devil cannot exist in the presence of humility. So, you know, in our relationship, whenever there's one person who decides to humble himself or herself, God's love always wins. So that's what I want to share to you today, brothers and sisters. When you decide to swallow your pride and be humble, you will win. God will win through you. You might not win at first, but in the long run, when God shows and reveals his victory, you will say, Lord, thank you. I swallowed my pride. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Ah, Father, I am a sinner. I am broken. And today I, I lift up to you my selfishness, my insecurity, my hurts, and my wounds. Lord, every sin that I have not shared to anyone, I lift up to you right now. I ask you, Lord, to cleanse me with your cleansing fire and purify me. I want to be a new person. Father, I surrender my pride to you. And I may be the most humble person that I can be through your name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>